What's up guys, Will H back with another video. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at a smartwatch. Now this smartwatch was sent out to me by the company False Meat. If I think I'm pronouncing that right, big shout out to them for sending this over. Now you can pick this up on Amazon. I'll drop the link in the description. This is the False Meat smartwatch, LG W6. That's the model number. It comes in black or silver. The price is going to be $69.99. Now, the watch comes with two different straps. It's going to have a silicone strap and a metal strap as well. Now, it works with iOS and Android. So, some of the other features and details. This has a 1.43 inch AMOLED HD screen. The resolution on it is 500 by 500. It is a touchscreen display as well. It's going to have super wide viewing angles has always on display and it's going to have 200 dials and customized dials as well. It features Bluetooth calling, message reminders, it also has AI voice assistance so uh, you can talk to your watch and tell it to uh, dial a phone number or different things like that. It has a built-in hi-fi dual speakers, uh, 120 plus sports modes, this includes walking, running, climbing, cycling, tennis, etc. You got 24 hour health monitoring. It's going to be your heart rate, blood oxygen, blood pressure, sleep cycle. Uh, you can track all of that stuff. Now it's made out of military grade materials. It's IP68 waterproof, sweatproof, and rainproof. Has a 500 milliamp hour battery. You can get up to seven days with this. Now, if you have the always-on display on, it's gonna, you're going to get about three days. If you have it in power-saving mode, you can get about 30 days. So those are a few of the features and details. Let's get into the packaging and check it out. So here's the box that it comes in. Very nice black box. Uh, I like when companies take the time to really make a great-looking presentation on the outside. So smartwatch, put your future of health on your wrist. It's telling you it's a super amulet, and this is the, L the LG W6 version. And then here's the back of it here. Just some of the same stuff. Let's go ahead and get this plastic off here and check it out. Got the unboxing knife out. And this is my first time working with this company, so I'm pretty excited about checking out this watch. It seems like it's going to be a great uh, smart watch here at a great price as well. Very colorful packaging, man. I like this. And let's go ahead and get into the box. Let's see how you get in. Very easy. Just slide it that way. And then on the packaging, I'm going to put that up there. So you're going to have some literature here about the watch. Telling you some things about the watch here. Let's see. Telling you everything you need to know. Here. So you got that in here. You're going to have a, you got a card here for different information there, how to use the product correctly and stuff like that. There it is. And then, of course, we got the watch. But we're going to see what's in this uh, accessories box. So in the accessories box, we're going to have a tool to adjust your metal band. That is pretty cool. It comes with that. You're going to have uh, your charging cable. It's a proprietary charger, as you guys see. Proprietary. Got that in the packaging. And we got our metal band here as well. And then you have your connectors here for your, for your bands as well to give you some extra ones. And then you got your metal band here. Let's get this out and check it out. So great value right here. A bunch of uh, different things in the box here so we'll go over all of this i'm just gonna get everything out and then i'll get the plastic off and check check out the band let's go ahead and get the watch out and that is it in the box guys so here's the watch uh it says function button long press to turn on please charge for two hours to activate the watch before use so we're going to get this sticker off and there it is, 1.4, 3-inch AMOLED display. Uh, it's a very lightweight watch. It's not very heavy, but here it is. Beautiful-looking watch. See it there? 
And then here's the inside of it. You got your sensors and everything on the back of it here. Let me get this little stick off. And there it is. That's your contacts to charge it. Also looking at the back of the watch, you can see your quick connects here to disconnect and connect your watch band. It says 22 on there, so 22 millimeter. Watch band feels great. It's very soft, uh, but it has a kind of a rugged look. So this is a nice looking watch band here. Like I said, lightweight. Let's kind of look at the front of it. So you got sport uh, power right here. It says power. And then you got sport here. And then on this side, it says smart. So, yeah, man, we're going to go ahead and get this thing set up. We'll come back and take a look at it. Let me see if I can get the plastic off of this piece here. Off of this part of the band, this band here. And we'll take a quick look at this. And this is the, this is a metal band here. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get the plastic off. And I think I may rock this one, man. Let's go ahead, another little small piece of plastic right here. Let's go ahead and open this up. And see if we can get this plastic off here. All right, so you got a little branding right there. Not bad, just a little subtle branding. And here's the metal band, stainless steel band. And simply just put your little pins in there and connect it. And uh, I like the way it comes to loose very easy. Got two little buttons right here that you press. So I would definitely try that band on with the watch as well. So let me go ahead and get it set up. We'll come right back. Okay, guys, so we're back in. I have the GloryFit app downloaded. This is what you're going to need to uh, connect your watch to your phone. So here it is. Now, remember, this works with Android and Apple. So let me go ahead and get this signed in. We'll come right back. Okay, guys, so we're back in. I have signed in. The sign-in process was very easy. You just follow simple instructions that they give you, and they'll email you a, a code, and you just put that code in, and you're in. So here's the app right here. Now, I haven't turned on my watch yet. Let's go ahead and turn it on. I have charged it. So I'm going to press and hold this button. Felt a vibration. And here we are. So I've already downloaded the app, so there's no need to scan for that. So let's see if I can get past that. So here it is. So let's go ahead and see if we can connect the watch here. So please allow Bluetooth to use. Uh, so I got to turn on Bluetooth. So there it is. Go back to the app. Please connect device. Okay, so here it is. So it's searching, and there it is, the LG W6. So we're gonna go ahead and connect it just like this. It is connecting. I felt a vibration over here. Pairing requests. Gonna go ahead and allow it. Allow LW, LGW6 to receive your iPhone notifications. Okay, I'm gonna allow that. Uh, there's a new version firmware. Do you want to update? Gonna go ahead and update. Uh, so if this takes a little while, I'll pause the video and come right back. And so let's see what it's doing here. It's updating the firmware, so I'm going to go ahead and pause. As soon as it uh, finishes updating, I'll come right back. Okay, guys, as you guys see, the update is just about complete. And it is complete now, successful right there. So we're going to go OK. And here we are. We are now connected to uh, the watch. And let's take a look quick look at the app on the phone here so you got the temperature outside now I did have to change that to Fahrenheit there uh, let's go ahead and look at I you can set up your goals for walking your distance you can see your calories burnt and uh, you can track your sleep here your heart rate blood pressure blood oxygen you got all of that which I haven't worn, worn the watch yet so it's not available yet so the next page over, this is going to be your sport right here. If you start a workout, you got outdoor running, outdoor cycling, rope jumping, badminton, and you can add right here, a hundred over 120, I think it said on there. Uh, so you have a bunch of them, 120 plus. And then the next page over, 
uh, get fit, would like to send you notifications. We're going to go ahead and allow that right now. So uh, you got your Bluetooth call right here. You can enable. Uh, you got your contacts. You enable Bluetooth call, close Bluetooth call, watch faces. And let's see what comes up here. So you're going to get a bunch of these, too. I think it's over 200 of watch faces that uh, it has. And you can also create your own watch faces, uh, custom. Uh, right here, you got my dial, the ones you have on your watch. And then, of course, you're going to have all of those there. You got your heart rate functions here. Uh, you got that kind of information, blood oxygen here. You're going to have your phone call. You got some different features you can set up there. SMFs, SMS settings, apps. So you can choose which apps that you want to receive notifications from. You got your sedentary reminders for drinking water, standing up, things like that. Light up. Uh, so it'll light this display up if you needed to. More settings. You got uh, remote photography, find my device. So I got a vibration going on right now with that. Uh, you got 24 hour, that's where you can set your clock. Uh, device language, so let's see what kind of languages. So you got all kinds of languages here. More uh, that that firmware update, date, SOS contact and reset device. And then over here, uh, this is going to be some of your personal information, I would think. Yeah, that's going to be some of that. Unit. Uh, you can set this for centimeters, miles, kilograms, pounds, Celsius, or Fahrenheit. Target settings right here. I just briefly went through and set up 4,000 steps a day. Your training. Uh, this will give you... Goals, you can set your goals for different things. They'll give you weekly, what you've done in a week. Third-party services. You got some more settings here. That's pretty much the app right there, guys. So pretty robust app. Now we're going to take a look at the watch. Now I'm going to wear the watch for a while, then I'll come back. I'm going to wear it a day, and then the next part of the video you guys see, it'll be after I've worn it overnight. So here's the watch here. So if you press the button here you can turn the display off we can swipe this way you can see different things here and here you got your daily activities call heart rate blood oxygen training blood pressure sleep weather music uh, message rough rate one click measure alarm clock voice assistant sos toolbox and settings so in settings, you're going to have your watch face and theme, date, time, bright. Uh, this way you can set your display brightness. Uh, the touch screen is really responsive as well. Uh, raise to wake, do not disturb, QR code system, stuff like that. So that is when you press that button. Let's go ahead and go back in. Now you can use the crown to navigate here as well, as you guys see. So you don't have to touch the display. So the bottom button, this is where you can get into your all your sports here. So as you guys see, you got all kind of good stuff here. Uh, cycling, skipping, I've never heard of that, badminton, table tennis, tennis, walking. So I would probably use the walking. So you just automatically touch it, and it's going to go into your... Uh, your walking mode there, as you guys see, it's going to have your pace, your distance, and your time. There it is. You can pause it, and you can get out of it. So that's your that's the walking demo there. We're going to go ahead and stop it, and uh, so that's how you get into a walk uh, to a workout mode. So we're going to go back home here. So this is going to be all your activities here. This is uh, setting up your sleep. Now, I'm definitely going to use the sleep, so it'll track deep sleep, light sleep, awake, and REM, which is some things that I would like to uh, you know, track. So next, we're going to have our heart rate. This is going to be your, that's going to be measuring for your uh, oxygen level, blood pressure. 
this is your weather. Let's see what all you get in the weather. So you get a nice look of the weather, nice and bright there. And then you can add other complications as well. So you sleep. Uh, you got different things here, call, training, music, different complications that you can add there. So swiping from the top, this is going to be all your quick toggles here. You got phone call. You got do not disturb, your brightness level, raise to wake. Uh, you got mute, vibrate, your battery percentage, uh, flashlight. Then you can go into your settings again right there. So that is that. I'm going to swipe up, and this is going to be your notifications. Uh, you can go into the notifications, and you can uh, pretty much just delete it, I guess. Uh, you're not going to be able to respond from the notification. So that is pretty much the watch right there, guys. I'm, like I said, I'm going to use it overnight. If I discover some different stuff on the second part of the video, I'll go ahead and uh, let you know that too. But I'm going to use it for walking, getting notifications, making phone calls. This this is does a uh, have a voice assistant as well. So stay tuned to the next part of the video. Okay, guys, so we're back in. This has been about 24 hours with the watch. And I have to tell you that I am very impressed with this watch. As you guys see, I have it with the stainless steel band on it. But here's some B-roll right here. Uh, with the silicone band uh, it's lightweight and you know you can't even really feel it with either band uh, I do like the stainless steel band better looks stylus and uh, it's lightweight and comfortable so I'm gonna go ahead and take it off now I did have to take out a couple of links out of this band but they give you the little tool which makes it very easy to do uh, so you're not gonna have any problem with the buttons and everything worked great here uh, no issues. So uh, comfort and fit is great. Now the 1.43 inch uh, AMOLED display is very nice. Could be a little bit brighter out in the sunlight, but as you guys see, the colors look very nice. Uh, the blacks are deep on it and uh, just great looking watch, but could be a little brighter in the sunlight. It's responsive, the display Maybe just a tad bit of lag, but overall, it's not nothing that you're going to dislike about it or make you not want to use the device here. So, as you guys see, very nice. Now, I've been using it. I made some phone calls. Made a phone call to my wife and recorded that. And here it is. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Is it clear or how does it sound? You sound very clear. Okay, so I appreciate you helping me with this part of the video. No problem, anytime. So as you guys see, the speaker on here was nice and she could hear me. Also been using this for notifications coming in, seeing different things come in. Uh, also been using this for email, get social media alerts as well. And of course, I've been tracking my steps. Not too many steps today. This is kind of early in the morning. This is my sleep tracking right here. I use it for that. Now, this says I only slept three hours, 35 minutes. I think it's off just a little bit, but pretty close. And it breaks it down like I told you guys yesterday. Uh, I mean, uh, earlier part of the video, <laughs> uh, 48 minutes deep sleep, 56 minutes light sleep. You know, it just gives you a comprehensive breakdown of your sleep there. Here's my uh, beats per minute heart rate. It's going to give you the low and the highest it's been. This is going to be uh, your oxygen level. It's trying to register it down, but it does a good, jo great job of checking that. And then you got your weather, which is nice on here as well. We're going to go back. And then we got uh, blood pressure, which has been pretty accurate. It's trying to check it down, but let's go back. It's been... You know, checking it, and that's pretty accurate on my blood pressure right there. And then you have your music controller here as well. Uh, this will control your music on your phone. And then we'll get to that in a few minutes, and then you got this. So let me show you on the phone, on the app. Let's take a look at uh, what it records there as well. So uh, all of this stuff, here's your yesterday, all, I mean, early part of the video. None of this was there, but here's the sleep. Now, syncing the data there, so uh, you can go in and take a look at 
all of that stuff I just showed you on the watch, on your phone, heart rate right here. It's going to give you your low and your high, your relaxed and everything like that. Uh, blood pressure right there. Going to keep a running total on it and your oxygen rate. Uh, my lowest and my high. So uh, very nice, man. Uh, the way you have this sync with your app on your phone uh, is very nice. So uh, I was talking about the watch. Here's the watch faces. Now, you can only store four of them on the watch, which is kind of a bummer. But uh, you can also cycle through your watch faces that you have just by simply clicking your crown. And then here's some of them that came on there and some that I added. But there are over 200 that you can choose from. And you can also customize. So next, I want to talk about the feature on here where you can play your music from your phone using the music app here, music tile. Uh, it works very well, so let's check it out. So as you guys see, that works excellent. Very good job of them using, uh, letting you allow you to do that. Other features on here, the remote for your camera, that works well. Now that's going to be found in your toolbox. In the toolbox, there are a lot of great uh, things you got in here. So you got stopwatch, you got timer, flashlight, which is pretty bright, as you guys see. Find my phone and remote camera app. Uh, which is the one I was talking about. So let's check that out. You guys see it can take a photo right there, and uh, you can use it remotely. Also, you got a calculator here as well, right there. You also have a dial pad for your phone. Uh, like I said, phone calls are great. And you also have your assistant, voice assistant. Now, this works well as well. I, you can bring this up and tell it to dial someone and uh, be hands-free. So, lock. call Mr. Will H. A lot of great features on this watch for the price. I have truly enjoyed using it over the last 24 hours. Seems like the battery life is going to be great on here as well. Still at 48%, but I've been playing around with this and using it uh, quite a bit. And uh, it's great, man. So this is the false meat or false met smartwatch, the LG W6 version. And uh, it's a great price, great uh, device here as well. Very stylish and good looking. So definitely leave the link in the description. Will H, I'm out.